Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to play uh, Ultra Life by Oh Wonder. This is from their new album, which is called the same as the song. <laughs> um, and I'm really, really excited for it because they're one of my favourite bands. But anyway, uh, for this song you will need to know how to play the chords. D minor, C, G, A minor, F and C slash E. If you know how to play those then you can skip ahead and if not, I will show you how to play them in just a second. You will also need a capo on your third fret and your guitar should be in standard tuning or alternatively you could put it into E flat slash um, drop D. If you're a complete beginner you probably haven't done that before or you don't really know how to do that, that's fine. You don't need to do it for this song, it sounds okay either way. But if you want to be like super accurate then change the tuning. One app that I use, um, not being paid to say this, it's Fender Tune Up or something like that. I'll put in a screen grab of it in a second. Um, but basically that's a completely free app that I use. You can change it into all different kinds of tunings for different um, uh, kinds of guitars. <laughs> and yeah, it's just super useful. So it will allow you to be a bit more flexible with your playing and learn a bunch of different songs. But anyway, on with the song. Okay, so the chords. you got a D minor, which is your first finger on the first fret, first string, your second finger on the second fret, third string, and your third finger on the third fret, second string, and that sounds like this. Then you've got a C, which is your first finger on the first fret, second string, your second finger on the second fret, fourth string, and your third finger on the third fret, fifth string, and that sounds like this. Then you've got a G, which is your first finger on the second fret fifth string, your second finger on the third fret sixth string, your third finger on the third fret second string, and your fourth finger on the third fret first string, and that sounds like this. Then you've got an A minor, which is your first finger on the first fret second string, your second finger on the second fret fourth string, and your third finger on the second fret third string, and that sounds like this. You got an F, which is your first finger covering all the strings on the first fret, or just the sixth string, dependent on your ability. Uh, then you got your second finger on the second fret uh, third string, your third finger on the third fret fifth string, and your fourth finger on the third fret fourth string, and that sounds like this. And then you got a C slash E, which is your first finger on the. Um, what am I doing? First finger on the second fret fourth string, your third fing second finger, sorry, on the third fret fifth string, your third finger on the third fret second string, and your fourth finger on the third fret first string. And that sounds like this. And those are the chords. So for your introduction and your first verse, you're going to be playing this chord pattern, D minor, C, G. You're going to repeat it four times for your verse and once or twice for your introduction, dependent on how you guys want to play this. Um, the strumming pattern is just three downward strokes for your D minor and your C, and then six for your G. That's only because you're holding that chord for twice the length of time. So all together, that sounds like this, D minor, C, G, D minor, C, G, and you're going to repeat that another four times for your verse. So yeah, that's the first introduction and your first verse sorted. Then you've got a pre-chorus. Um, here you're going to keep that same strumming pattern, but you're going to be changing your chords slightly. So you're going to be playing D minor, F, C, and you're going to play D minor, F, C, G. That sounds like this. D minor, F, C. D minor, F, C, G. That last G we're just playing once, and then we're going into our chorus, which is going to be um, D minor, C, G, played through twice, with that same strumming pattern. Uh, then you got F, A minor, G, C slash E, played through once with that same strumming pattern. Um, then you got D minor, C slash, uh, C, then G, played four times, exactly the same as you do for your verse. So I'm gonna play that all the way through now for you. It goes D minor, C, G, C 
slash A. B minor. C. G. D minor. C. G. D minor. C. And that is your chorus. Whew, got all the way through that. It's been a while since I played guitar, so sorry if I'm a bit celebratory. Um, <laughs> here we go, so then you got another verse. This verse is the same as your first verse, exactly the same. Uh, D minor, C, G, played through four times with that same strumming pattern. Then you got another pre-chorus, exactly the same as your first pre-chorus. And then you got another chorus. Things change a little bit here. Um, so you're going to be playing D minor, C, G twice, F, A minor, C, G, uh, sorry, F, A minor, G, C slash E once, then D minor, C, G once. So before we played it four times, this time we're only really going to be playing it once. Then we've got kind of an interlude which links to that end. Um, so the way that we're going to introduce that is at the end of that chorus, when we play D minor, C, and then G, we're just going to play that last G once, and then we're going to play F five times, G five times, F five times, G five times. I'm going to play that through now for you. That F and the G is the interlude, by the way, and the lyric for that is going to be Ultra Life With Me. And you're pretty much hitting the chords every time you hit a syllable, so it's like, Ultra life with me. It's like that. So down, 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 G, down, 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 and then yeah, I'm a terrible singer, I really do apologize. Um but yeah, here it goes. D minus C G. Uh keep hitting my guitar, that's probably not good. Here we go. D minor. C oh, try again. D minor. C And then we're going to go into a uh, bridge. The bridge is where they're singing Found Me on a Basement Floor, Back When I Lost It All. This you're going to be playing F, C slash E, G, that's your chord pattern, and you play that through, um, sorry, F, C slash E, G, C slash E, that's your chord pattern, uh, and you play that through four times, or three, yeah, four times. Um, that, you can play it, basically your strong pattern can be very, very versatile here. I'll show you how I play it. Um, it goes like this. F, F, C slash E, G, G, C slash E, F, and then repeat that. So um, it sounds like this without me talking over the top. So yeah, um, the timing is a little bit tricky, just listen to the song and hopefully you'll get it. I don't even know if I was playing that correctly then, um, but yeah, just p practice along with the song and with the singing as well helps a little bit. I can't sing, but yeah. <laughs> uh, then you got another verse. This verse is exactly the same as the first verse, even got the same lyrics. Um, so it's just D minor C G, played four times with that same strumming pattern that we had for the first verse three times down for each chord, six for the G. Uh, and then you got another chorus, and this chorus is exactly the same as the first chorus, but you're going to repeat your D minors, your Cs, and your Gs at the end for as long as you want to, it's the outro. Um, so yeah, it's just D minor, C, G, played through twice, 
followed by F, A minor, G, C slash E once, followed by D minor, C, G, played through infinite number of times, however many times you want to play it. But yeah, that's the song. Um, hopefully that was useful to you guys. Um, wasn't too complicated. It's kind of it's kind of a complicated song to play, I won't lie to you. Um, not when you have it all written down in front of you, but to kind of learn and pick it up, um, it's, it's a little bit tricky. But yeah, hopefully this helped. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments if you've got any guitar apps that you use to help with your tuning, because I'm always looking for new ones. And uh, yeah, See you next time. Bye.